Hello everyone, my name is Adam Repos Vox, and in this video I'm going to show you how to download Torrents in Ubuntu 16.04. Now I'm going to start this off the safe way and point out that there's plenty of totally legal and legit reasons you may want to download Torrents. For example, if I go to search for Linux Mint and go to the download page, because Linux Mint, if you're going to do an Ubuntu Debian based Linux distribution like Ubuntu, I much prefer Linux Mint. And then we can go here and find, you know, there's the download links. So Cinnamon 64-bit. Now you can either download it via your web browser, or you can download them via Torrent. And so on my server, I have torrents of all of my favorite Linux distribution seeding so that other people have more opportunities to download it and help the community. And so here you have a torrent download link, and you can download it. Now there are two different programs that I would recommend using on Linux for, or on Ubuntu for downloading torrents. And they're both easy to use, easy to access, and it's kind of up to you what you want to use. The first one is called Transmission, and it's built into Ubuntu by default. And they've actually just released a Windows version due to popular demand. Transmission is a file sharing program. When you run a torrent, its data will be made available to others by means of upload. Any content you, say, you share is your sole responsibility. Basically, don't blame us for you pirating stuff with us. Yeah. Then if you click the torrent link, it will download the torrent. You click the torrent, and it will automatically open in transmission since it's your default uh, torrent downloader here. And then you can, tell, you, you can give it some settings, such as destination folder. Definitely want that to be in downloads. Um, whether or not you want it to download, it'll tell you how, what the size is, what the torrent file is. How much space you have free, so you know not to download too much. Torrent priority, you can you know make some lower priority than others. Tell it to go ahead and start once it adds it, and delete the .torrent file so it doesn't sit around on your system. I won't do that, so I can show you the other program. And then you click open, and it'll tell you how many peers you're downloading from, your download speed, your progress, all that stuff. You can open the folder that it's in. You can set up a queue. Um, if you go to... Uh, properties on the torrent. You go up here to edit preferences. You can add speed limits, download limits, alternative speed limits. Uh, you can set up scheduling options, you know, all of your normal torrent program stuff. And you can set up remote access via the web daemon if you want to control it from your browser on another computer. If you have it set up on a server like I do, I have access to my Deluge server. And see, it's downloading at 7.32 megabytes per second. Damn. All right. Downloading quite quick. Well, my preferred program, mainly because I'm primarily a Windows user due to my Adobe Suite being Windows only, I prefer, and Transmission wasn't on Windows before, I prefer Deluge, which is actually just available through the Software Center. So if I search for Deluge, right here, multi-platform, works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, I believe, and they may even have uh, a mobile version now. Just click Install. Uh, type in your password to confirm that you want to install it. It should be fairly small, and it works. It works kind of like uTorrent a little bit. Let me check on transmission. I'm going to go ahead and s remove the torrent and clear the files, because I no longer want that going. I'll close out of that. Quit now. Then we'll go ahead and get Deluge going here. And it, 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 it doesn't matter what... <laughs> yeah, someone else said, it's the uTorrent of Linux. Um... It really doesn't matter which one you use. It's totally up to preference. They're all going to functionality work, functionality wise work the same. So go ahead and open up Deluge BitTorrent Client. Enable thin client mode. All right, we're going to try installing it this way real quick. So it's not going to let us copy the code naturally. That UI is very obnoxious. Oh, there we go. All right. sudo add apt re repository ppa deluge dash team slash ppa. Enter to continue. sudo apt get update. And we're going to add in deluge web UI. All right, let's check the launch pad. The Ubuntu launch pad contains a lot of information about the software for the operating system. And then sudo apt get install deluge d deluge. And we're not going to do the web UI right now. Yes. Those answers aren't what we're looking for in the slightest. All right, it installed it, so let's just type in deluge. There we go. I believe it's working now. It installed the dependencies. All right, if we 
Go to Preferences. Yep, it now gives us the option to tell it where to download files. Go to Others, get alerted, all that stuff. Uh, here is where you associate magnet links, which like if you're downloading from the Pirate Bay, they use magnet links instead of torrent files. You can associate them with Deluge. That way they, it just automatically opens up in Deluge. That's important. Um, and then there should be a way to associate the torrent files with it, which you can just do from your file browser, actually. So if we go to Downloads, and here's the torrent file. If we go to Properties, uh, Open With, just like on Windows, Deluge, set as default, close. Now if we open it, it's going to open up in Deluge, Add, and it will start downloading. And this looks a little bit more like uTorrent on Windows. And that's it. So, a little bit of troubleshooting here. I'll chop it up for what was actually needed to learn throughout this process. And that is how you start downloading torrents via Ubuntu. Hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. Click the playlist link in the description below for more Ubuntu-related tutorials. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.